Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be showing you how to effectively utilize the asset library in Light Tracer Render. The library is your all-in-one solution, packed with over 1,500 pre-configured physically based materials, HDR environment maps, and studio lights. You can easily access these resources to set up your scene and capture the perfect shot of your product with very little effort. We'll be illustrating a common library use case by setting up a bicycle CAD model from GrabCAD. To begin, we'll import the step file by simply dragging it into the app. In the import dialog that appears, we'll select the high tessellation quality to guarantee the smoothness of the surfaces. Keep in mind, step files don't retain physical materials. Therefore, after importing the model, you might see only basic colors or even no colors at all. That's why CAD models often require manual adjustments in materials to achieve a realistic appearance. Let's start with the frame. It's as easy as dragging the suitable paint preset onto the frame to apply it. Once that's done, you can tweak the color in the properties tab. For painting the tire, we need to separate its geometry. This task can be accomplished with the mesh tools found in the right-click context menu. Opt for Split into Faces to break down the tire object into individual CAD faces. Now we're ready to paint the tire separately. By repeating these steps, we can color the rest of the bike's pieces. Don't forget, you have the ability to pass materials from one object to another. All you need to do is select a few objects and hit the Share Material button or use the Shift plus L shortcut to give the material of the first object to all the rest. With the painting out of the way, let's move on to adding a shadow catcher and setting up a white background. The library can also come in handy for setting up the lighting. We'll choose an environment map from the maps tab for this purpose. To enhance our scene with additional highlights, we can add some studio lights from the Lights tab. These lights are HDR photos taken from real studio lighting equipment, which can help add a touch of realism to your renderings. These lights are layered on top of the environment map, and you can preview and maneuver them using the environment widget. Our scene is nearly there, but it could still benefit from a few fine touches. We're thrilled to announce that in version 2.7 of Light Tracer Render, we're introducing a 3D Labels feature. Let's take a sneak peek at how it's going to look. We'll create a dedicated tutorial after the official release, so stay tuned. We're really keen to know what you think about the library and how we can make it even better in future versions. Thanks for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you in the next videos.